what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of tighten it up a little bit. Right? So it's going to become a little bit stiffer, a little bit more technical, a little bit more we're going to kind of look at the way you're doing things. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some lines here. So we're going to go down the field like this. We're going to have six lines of people. One, two, three, four, five, six. You guys spread out on this line and stand up with your hand in the air. Yep, facing down the field. Spread out, one over here. Just those six and then everybody behind them. Let's go. Okay, that's good there, mate. I didn't come over a little bit. Big hold of hands. Show them where you are. There you go. Big old hands, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Who's got the hand in the air? Okay. So let's try and get the numbers about the same. There should be about five or six in each group. Maybe not 77. Yeah, I know. Just go in behind them, that's cool. There we go. So maybe we need just to even up a couple of numbers. We good? We've got about five or six in each group. Here, when you come down here, go down one more. I might need one. Alright, here's what we're going to do. First person in each line is going to come forward two lines. You're going to come all the way out to here, just the first person. Got it. Next person's going to the first line. Yep. Right there. Here? There should just be six of you. And you guys need to do the first line needs to go further out. Just spread out just a wee bit. Just the first line. So you've got space. Alright, everybody's facing me. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep walking down the field doing everything that I'm saying. Okay? So I'll be doing it going backwards mostly. And I want everybody to follow. Don't start doing it in the back of the line until basically we've moved forward a little bit from the rest of the team. Okay? That's going to look like this. The first movement is pull. Okay, and we're walking. Let's go. Front line is pulling. Yep. As you get to the line, you just keep going. Good. Everybody's going to kind of keep their chest up. Big tall posture. You've got to squeeze it so that it hits your ribs. You guys get to the big symbol in the middle. Stop. Wait. Good work, everyone. Keep going a little quicker. Everybody a little quicker. All right, the second thing you're going to do when you get to the middle is different. Keep this one going. Keep standing tall. Keep marching. All right, everybody jog it in. Let's go. Those six people put their hands up. Everybody gets behind them. There we go. We're facing me this time. Facing me. Big hands up. No, no, just the front. Just the front people. Same person who had the hand up before. That's you. There we go. All right. Okay, let's see if we can do this cleanly now. So now the next movement is like this. Go. As we're doing this, we're always keeping our spine straight. Go. Keep going, everybody. Good. So you put one leg on top of the other one, and you squat down. One leg on top, and you squat down. Keep your spine straight, and squat that's down. A, is that a good stretch? This is a bum stretch, yep. When you guys get to the black line, you're going to stand here and put your hands up. Got it? Whoever's the leader. You guys need to spread out a little bit. Everybody's doing this great. Good. Keep going. Doing all right. Okay, jog it through. Good. All right. So we've done two things so far, haven't we? March, glute squat, bum squat. All right, next one. Lunge, big arms, big circle. Take a moment, okay? Lunge, big arms, big circle. Take a moment, all right? Now, when you're doing all of these movements, here's what I'm looking for. Is I'm looking for straight, tall spines. Do you remember when you watched the race? Did they look like they were running like this? No. Did they look like they were sitting on a chair? No, they were standing up from this tall position all the time. So we're always thinking of that tall posture. 
Okay? All right, go. Lunge, big arms. Excellent. Lunge, big arms. Yep. Keep your body nice and vertical and the back knee doesn't touch the ground. That's it. It's a good idea to giggle when you do this because it's sort of a silly looking move. So get some smiles in there. Big arm, get some air in it. Full arms, all the way go back. Faster ones. Good work, guys. Okay, now we're doing this all slower than we'd normally do it when we're actually warming up. You'll see later on how we go faster. All right, good work. Oh, big old arms back there, mate. There you go. Big albatross. Good, big long. <laughs> doing right. There we go. Big one. Excellent, jog on through. Okay, okay, what are the three we've done? March, bum squat, lunge. Yep, okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do everything for the back muscles. The hamstrings and the calves and the, the nerves that come out of all those human structures down the back. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna do a little jog. When you get to the line, you're gonna turn your toes in. And you're gonna touch your toes or something nearby, all right? If you're, if you're really tight and you go, oh, that's all I can do, just do that, all right? Is everybody cool with that? When you get to the next line, your feet are gonna face the other direction. And now you're gonna have the toes out and you're gonna touch the ground again, okay? Now, nothing matters about whether you can touch your toes or not. I want you to be clear about that, okay? When you get tall, when you go through a growth spurt, these muscles get really tight. And so it might be that you used to be able to touch your toes, and now you can't. When I was a kid, I could put my elbows on the ground. What? Yeah, and now I can't. How? All right? How? How, I know, crazy. I'm like an orangutan. So you want to be able to move just to where you feel the stretch, okay? Everybody appreciate that? Stretch in the back of the leg. All right, so it's going to be jog, 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 in, here, jog, 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 out, the next line, keep going, go. Here we go, jog, 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 put toes in, heels out, good work, good, jog, 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 toes out, touch, good, you guys are toes in, excellent, that's all right, jog, 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 toes out, good work, excellent, yep. Just keep switching them from toes in to toes out. You guys are really looking good now. Yep. That's it, toes out. And then the next one, toes in. That's a good one. Oh, good job. Oh, man. Excellent, toes in. Yep, and now toes out. Perfect. Toes in. Work everyone, hand up if you're the lead person, get the line behind you. Jog it in guys, good work. Nice work. All right, thigh muscles, quadriceps, okay? So what we're gonna do on this one is we're gonna grab the foot and pull it back and we're gonna stretch with the other hand in the air. But as you might notice, now we're always gonna jog a little bit between the stretches, okay? And we're gonna not forget to yawn yawn. Everybody's yawning. You know why you yawn when you're stretching? Because your muscles are actually asking for more oxygen. Isn't that interesting? And before a race, you know when you yawn sometimes before you play soccer or you, or you go for a run? It's because your muscles are asking for more oxygen. So it doesn't always mean you're tired. It just means you're kind of getting ready. Right? So don't worry if you have a yawn before you're about to go for a run or a race. So you're going to jog, jog, jog. One hand up. One hand grabs, and you're going to try and pull that heel to your bum, okay? It doesn't matter if you don't hit it, but the thing that I want you to think about is running is about straight lines, so I don't want the leg out like this, okay? That would be good if you were a hurdler. A hurdler, with some R's in it. Hurdler. 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 But I want it to be straight. You with me? Everybody got it? All right, so straight arm, straight leg. 
All right, now, it's okay if your balance is a little bit wobbly, but try and keep it steady. All right, here we go. Jog, 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 pull. Yep, excellent. And then you switch legs to the next one, don't you? Good. Now you're really fast in the little jogs now. Go. Good, pull. Oh, look at you guys. Good work, through your feet. Good. Yep. Jog, nice work. Nice and tall. Everybody's tall. Everybody is six foot six. <laughs> in their mind. Keep going. Tall, tall, tall. Good work, folks. Good. Pull that thigh back. Excellent. Sweep it back. Good, couple more, you guys. Nice. Up here. All right. Last one we're going to do. So we've done a little bit on the front, a little bit on the back, a little bit in the hips, a little bit twisting, some through the shoulders. Is everybody cool with that? All right. So the last one we're going to do. So your opposite hand is touching your foot. Yep, and then just go to the next one. Good. One, two, three, switch the legs. These are hard, aren't they? If your left leg's swinging, your right hand is going to touch it. Right leg swinging, your left hand is going to touch it. Great guys. Oops, sorry, ran right up the top of you. Sorry about that. Good work everyone. special stretch. Okay. So it might mean that if I've got a tight calf, I might do this. Put my leg down and push my other foot down so the heel's on the ground. Try and lift my bum in the air. If I've got a tight hip, it might be that I do this. And stretch my hip. If I've got a tight thigh, it might be that I do this. Yep. So you find your own little additional stretches. Okay? And you work on those. Especially if you've got one side of your body that does it and the other side that doesn't. Okay? So you're kind of working on balance. Now, let's remember where we started. We did one lap, and what was it? Loosey goosey. Alright? Then we started taking the stretches, and we made them just a little bit more active, didn't we? What was the one thing I said you've always got to focus on in all these stretches? Staying tall, well said. Okay, so staying tall, good posture. All right, now, you're going to run another lap. This lap is just slightly quicker than the last one, okay? And when you come back, we're going to do a little strength type movement. I'll get everybody in a circle and we'll do it all together exactly at the same time. And then we're going to repeat the whole process, okay? And then we're going to video you doing it. Watch how clever you are. All right, one lap. A little bit faster than the last lap, that's all. So 
a whole lot of humans there. Yeah. <laughs>